Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy RO3 coming at you live. Man, it's been like a year since I did a tutorial with Mixcraft, so first and foremost, I apologize, man. I know you guys are faithful. You guys keep leaving comments, uh, asking questions, asking when I'm going to come out with my master class and when I'm going to come out with my expert class. Right now, I'm going to make this video super duper short. I'm just going to show you guys how to mix your song with just basic plugins. It's going to kind of resemble the beginner's master or the be the beginner's mixing and mastering course. But I'm going to show you that um, you have other shortcuts as well that you can utilize. You don't have to uh, freak out about, you know, not having up to date plugins, being able to spend money on plugins. Mixcraft right here has everything for you. Uh, now I'm using Mixcraft 9 Pro Studio, but if you still have 8, even if you have 7, man, it really doesn't matter. The plugins are still there. You're just not going to have so many features like with this uh, Pro Studios 9, the mixing board is a lot different it's a lot a lot more in depth and i really really like it i think it's really dope it's got eqs already in it so what i'm going to do majority of this video is just pull them up pull up the plugins kind of like on the other one and just have you guys take a snapshot of that stuff so what i'm going to do is show you guys the song with no plugins whatsoever attached to it so you can hear the quality and i'm going to show you a secret that i have for engineering that nobody else has ever done now, I haven't seen anybody do it, and I don't know if anyone has done it or if anyone's thought about doing it, but this is everything raw right here. I'll just play this little short por portion for you. This is everything raw right here. Why you walking? Why you talking like that? Ah, people hating, I just tell them fall back. Just the vocals. Ah, and I ain't with it if you dissing. Now, if you listen to these vocals, this is just my main vocals right here. No plugins added to it, but it sounds crispy, right? I mean, it sounds super crispy. Why you walking? Why you talking like that? That's because... I, I used to do this little secret, this little trick way back in like 2013, 2014 when I was recording. And what it is, is I literally EQ from the mixer onto my vocals, right? So uh, you have this sub mix, which allows you to add uh, a plug in to all these. But right here, 2.1, that's where we're at right here. I have the high frequency cranked up. I'm going to turn it down. I have the mid turned up to like 2.4 and that one turned up to 3.4. Now check this out, right? I'm just going to play it back. Why you walking? Why you talking like that? <sighs> and it still sounds good because of my microphone, but what I'm going to do is reapply these and you're going to hear the difference. Why you walking? Why you talking like that? <sighs> People hating, not just tell them fall back. <sighs> and yeah, I ain't bro. with it if you dissing, I tell them fall My bad, my bad. You can hear a huge difference there. Um, so I definitely encourage y'all to do that. For this one in particular, I have it at... The high 12.4 decibels, the mid is at 2.4 decibels, and the low is at 3.4. Um, sometimes I go a little bit lower, sometimes I go less with the high. You just got to do adjusting to your microphone. But this is a, a, a easy way, an easy way to, to EQ your, your track without even starting with your plugins, right? So um, now that you've heard that, we're going to go ahead and mess with the plugins. I'm going to add all these plugins. Like I said, I'm going to make this super duper short. So I'm going to pull it up right here, pause the video. Copy it down, boom. All right, that's that's how we're going to do this because I know you guys got music that you're creating, music that you want to get out there. A lot of these are going to be somewhat similar to my beginner's course uh, settings, but this one's definitely different, so get this EQ down. This EQ is going to help you a lot. You're taking out your highs, your lows, and you're adjusting the middles there. Um, Y'all just trust me. I mean, you guys can listen to my music all over my channel. You guys can listen to it uh, on Spotify, Apple, all that stuff. If you guys like the quality of my music, Man, I appreciate you guys showing love and support, but just copy these. Just copy these. Simply copy them. Um, and you guys are going to have music that sounds just as good, even if you guys don't have the same microphone, the same interface I'm using. Man, this is crazy multitasking. Like, pulling these up, Xing them out, talking and everything. Um, I'm pretty hyped up on Red Bull right now, which is good. So, yeah, dude, just copy these down. Like, for real. This is just, I mean, I'll add these just because, but this is just like a dub effect that I got going on. So, um, like I said... Just go back, look at what these effects are, copy all these settings down, and save them so that you don't have to uh, have to deal with you know having to recreate them again and again. So this is with everything added, just so y'all hear it. Uh, we'll just solo this one and the beat, so you can hear everything added, and then I'll take everything away. Why you walking? Why you talking like that? Ah, people hating, I just tell them fall back. Ah, and I ain't with it if you dissing. I won't listen because I'm way too. And uh, you guys will be able to check out this this full song. I'll leave the link in the description to the full song up here. Now, this right here, this is Nectar, okay? So what I've shown you guys is just with basic plugins. I'll show you the mastering process, too, with the basic plugins. So you have um, just these two. I'm not even going uh, to use that Ozone right there. 
the TB Easy Q. You guys might use this for your voice. Put it right in this area. You guys can. What I do when I engineer is I close my eyes and I kind of just move things around and hear it rather than seeing it. But this is about the pocket right here you're going to want for mastering. Um, so I'm going to play it without these. And then here's another EQ that you got going on. Pause it. Copy this down. Just trust me. It's good. Um, so this is with nothing. Too busy focused and walking inside God's vision. Yeah. Why you walking? Why you talking like that? People hating. I just. It's very, very subtle. When you master, uh, most of the time it's going to be pretty subtle, but it's still going to it's still going to affect everything. It's going to master the track for you. If you're mastering and it just becomes way, way overpowered, you're going to have a lot of distortion probably and a lot of other issues. So um, right there, that that's basically it, y'all. Um, and then with Nectar, like I said, if you guys want to hear it, this is a plugin that I bought from Isotope. I got it for like their Black Friday deal. These are really dope, man. It came with Ozone 9, Nectar, Neutron, RX7. Um, it came with a couple of DS, uh, just a lot of different elements that Isotope offers, and it's really dope. Um, but yeah, I'm going to play it with that too so you guys can hear the difference with that. Why you walking? Why you talking like that? People hating, I just tell them fall back. And I ain't with it. If you dissing, I won't listen. Now, if you notice down here, it's gonna you're gonna have to have a strong computer to process all that. Um, that's why the sub mix really helps because it takes a lot of the processing power and just channels it into this one channel. But right there, man, that that's basically what I want to show you guys with just this quick one. This is one of my one verse wonders. Like I said, I'll leave the link in the description so you can hear the final product. If you guys have any questions, which I know you do, please leave them in this video. Um, I appreciate you guys taking the time to go through the beginners course. I don't know if I'm going to do an advanced course or expert course. I might just do tutorials like this that y'all can check out, that y'all can share with people. So if you guys have any questions, any effects you want to go over, if you want to learn how to use Auto-Tune, I don't even really mess with Auto-Tune, but I could show you how to use the G-Snap, that's the stock plugin here, and make it sound just like uh, Auto-Tune VST from the, the major company that provides that Auto-Tune plugin for you. So again, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for the love and support through all this time, man. I know I've been slacking and everything. And if you guys can't tell, I'm actually using my AKG Perception 420 microphone rather than, you know, making this out of my PS4 headset. Everyone was dogging on me for that. So, um, yeah, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Again, leave a comment. Ask me something that you need help with with Mixcraft, and I'll be here to help. We love y'all. We appreciate y'all. God bless. We'll talk to you later.